In this example, we're going to talk, uh, continue our discussion of supply and demand, this time with a discussion about supply. Now, in this case, we have another principle at work, sort of the opposite of our demand function. In this case, we're talking about what the suppliers of a particular product will do. And essentially, the way it works is this. The higher the price, uh, the higher the quantity supplied. Producers supply more units at a higher price because that's going to give them uh, hopefully a higher increase in revenue and therefore profit if they sell more. So the graph right here suppl uh, for supply is shown. Uh, you can see as the supply increases when the unit price increases. So if we uh, only sell for a little bit, we're not going to supply as much because if we're the producer, we want uh, we want to sell more things, make more things that make us more money. Pretty simple. So uh, really, this works in is almost exactly the same way that we talked about in the demand function. So supply and demand are closely uh, closely linked. And as a matter of fact, uh, we put supply and demand together sometimes, and we find a break even. But that's 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 a little bit of a different story. It gets beyond what we're doing. Let's just go through the example right here and talk about what happens with supply. So, let's say a gadget is priced at nine dollars, and if it's priced at nine dollars, suppliers will produce. 86 gadgets. But if the price drops to $5, the suppliers will only produce 46 gadgets, right? When the price drops, the producers will only make will make less because they're not going to make as much, right? So let's go ahead and fill in our table. We're saying that if the unit price is $9, suppliers will produce 86 gadgets. That's our quantity, 9, 86. And if the price drops to five dollars, we'll only make forty-six units for whoever's making it. So five, forty-six will be our supply right here. And you can again see this in our supply if we say, all right, that uh, five dollars, we're only going to supply you with forty-six, right? Five, forty-six. But if we are allowed to increase to nine dollars. We'll supply you with 86. So 986. Certainly, you can see the relationship here. All right. So we want to determine the supply function. Well, we're going to take the same steps. First things first. We're going to find our slope of this line. And here's our point number one. Here's our point number two. So we're going to do the slope thing, where we take the change in the q p values. Pardon me over change in Q. Now we could have made a change in Q over change in P if we sort of flipped our graph around, but we're going to go with change in P over change in Q. So change in P. Uh, if we take 5 minus 9, okay, P is the vertical here, uh, we divide it by change in Q, that is 86, 46 minus 86. Try that again here. Oof. All right, 46 minus 86. Right. We do some subtraction right here. 5 minus 9 is negative 4. Negative 4. 46 minus 86. Well, that's negative 40. So our slope right here now is 1 tenth. 1 over 10, right? And we have a unit price increase of 1 for every uh, 10 units supplied. All right, so let's put this together in our point slope formula. We're going to say P minus P1 is equal to the slope M, we just found that, 1 tenth, times Q minus Q1. So we're going to go up here to point number 1 to find our P1 and Q1. We say the price P minus or P minus nine dollars per unit is equal to one tenth of our change Q minus Q1, which is 86. 86. Okay. So uh, working this out here, let's do some uh, do some algebra. P minus nine is equal to one tenth times Q, and uh, that's equal to one tenth. 
times 86. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put this into decimal format for you. One tenth, if you put that in a calculator, is equal to 0 0.1. And so if we take 0 0.1 and multiply it by 86, we get well, 8.6. We move the decimal over. So we could say that P minus 9 is equal to 0 0.1 Q minus 8.6. And this is going to make it a little bit easier for us because if we add 9 to both sides, we can get a really easy equation. It looks like this. P is equal to 0 0.1 times Q plus 9 minus 8.6, or negative 8.6 plus 9 is 0 0.4. This is our supply equation. And that's what we wanted. And so we're done.